everybody. Welcome back to another Sunday video. I am so happy that you're here today. So I was trying to think of what I want to talk about this week. And by the way, I wanted to let you guys know, we have a couple more weeks of Sunday chat before Vlogmas starts. So once Vlogmas starts, they'll just be daily Vlogmas videos going up every single day, the whole month of December. So I'm going to try my best to like weave some faith-based content into the Sunday videos, but don't worry. Sunday chats aren't going anywhere. They will be back in January, um, but I'm excited to have a few more Sundays with y'all before that starts. So I want to, I was reminded every time, every time I'm wondering like what to share about, I'm always reminded about something I have struggled with or something that I have learned and it's like, man, I wish I could come to y'all and say, look, here's something that I have completely conquered. <laughs> this is how I did it. But, you know, I think experience is the best teacher sometimes. And so this past few weeks, it has not been one specific thing, but there's something that has always irritated me. It's like a personal pet peeve I have. And that is the feeling of being left out. I don't think anyone enjoys that feeling. It's a feeling that... It's just, mm, it just cuts you to the core. Like, it, it doesn't matter if, if you know, we're talking about being pitched last for a, or like a team in, in school or when somebody doesn't invite you to something. It, there's just this feeling of like hurt that comes over you when you feel like that you have been left out um, or someone didn't invite you to something or somebody like you feel like personally excluded. Um clicks in middle school and high school used to bother me so bad. And I'm here to tell you there is still clicks when you become an adult, there is still clicks. And it's like, I Googled whenever I go through something where I feel like, Oh, I don't, I don't know what to do with this feeling. I usually Google Bible verse and then whatever I'm dealing with. So I, I typed in like Bible encouragement or Bible verse feeling left out. <laughs> I was expecting to get back a Bible verse to like help me um, not feel that way or help me like overcome this um, feeling and like what should I do when I have these feelings. And the thing, the first result that came up was talking about how there is benefits to feeling left out. There's benefits to exclusion. I did not expect to see that. I was like, what? Like, the, to me, there's no benefit at all. Like, it feels terrible. And so the more I thought about it, and I've been thinking about it all week, the last couple of weeks, there is benefit to being excluded. So we're going to talk about that today. Um, I was reminded in this article that I read and also just thinking a lot about it. Um, do you know that Jesus, when he was on earth, he excluded some people? Um, now I'm not talking about purposely trying to hurt people's feelings. That's not what we're talking about. But Jesus picked his 12 disciples from a bunch of different people that followed him around, but there was 12 that he really poured into. And then taking it a step further, when he would go up to the mountain and pray, and there was different times, he only took three of the disciples up there. You know, he would take Peter, James, and John, and he would. And so do you not think that people may have felt that feeling of being left out when Jesus did that. So we know because Jesus had smaller groups and he pulled certain people away that exclusion is not a sin. So if it's not a sin, what can we learn from it? What can we do to use that feeling to help us grow? Um, and man, that, that is something that I never really thought about, like, but it's so true. Um, there is times in our life where we are not going to be invited to the party. When there is an event that we can't go to because we <laughs> they didn't want us there. Or, you know, our friends are meeting for lunch and they did not invite us. And our first reaction is hurt, bitterness, disappointment. There's a deeper thing, though, that's there. And that is pride. Pride. The Bible warns us about pride. The feeling of entitlement, of life isn't fair. That's not fair. Why would they not invite me? That's not fair. And I will tell you that's not fair has been something that I have always <laughs> felt even since I was a kid. I want everything to be fair. I want everybody to be fair with everybody. Well, 
life isn't fair for one. We all have had different experiences. We all have different trials. Life is definitely not fair. God is not fair because we don't get what we deserve. Fair would be for us to get what we deserve. And he shows us grace. He shows us mercy when we don't deserve it. So he is He is not fair with us. Now, is he always there for us? Is he? Yes. That's not what I'm saying. I'm talking about in terms of do we, does life and God give us everything that we deserve and are, is it all equal? No. So when we go through these times and that pride comes up of feeling like, well, that's not fair that I didn't get invited. Why did, did they not like me? Do they not, do they not invite me because they just don't like me? And most of the time it's not about any of that. It's just, there's only so many spots or there's only, there's so many groups. And so we have to be, when, when you have that feeling come up of feeling left out, can you take a step back and go, you know what? Life isn't fair. And this happened and I'm not going to take the stance of being prideful because I don't deserve to be included in every single thing. Um, I mean, I love, there's so many verses in the Bible. I pulled out some about pride. <laughs> okay. Proverbs 11, two, this is one of my favorites. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with humility comes wisdom. Can we choose in the moments of feeling left out instead of that pride to come up of, well, that's not fair and feeling hurt and feeling all that. Can we have the spirit of humility and go, you know what? I don't deserve to be at everything. This isn't about me. And can we take the stance like Jesus? Jesus did not come to, and he had every right to come and be prideful because he's God's son. He's the king of all kings, but he came and he washed people's feet. He did not make anything to, about boasting himself up. And so when we have these feelings of being left out, it is usually our flesh coming into it. And we need to have the humility rise up in us. Um, Proverbs 15, 33, the fear of the Lord is the instruction of wisdom and before honor is humility. Humility is a big one that I think it is, it goes against our natural flesh reaction we don't want to be humble. (laughs) We want people to notice us. We want to have recognition. We want all of that stuff feels really good. And so when you, when you don't get that, it's really easy to feel hurt, to feel disappointed, to feel excluded. It's really hard, isn't it? Proverbs 16, 18, pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. And I will tell you too, when you act prideful to people who don't invite you, when you get your feelings hurt, when you throw a temper tantrum, when you cry and you cause a big fight with your friends, they won't invite you to as much stuff. (laughs) It's it's so much drama. Um, So we have to have this humble spirit to realize, you know, I'm not, who am I to be invited to everything? The other thing I think we can think about when this stuff happens is God, show me people who need my love. Show me people that I can include that maybe are feeling the way I do. Show me the people that I can reach out to and talk to. And and I can see because I've experienced this pain of being left out, I want to go and help others who are feeling left out. Um, I think that's a much better way to channel it because what happens is, is when we let pride come in, when we let hurt grow, bitterness comes and bitterness will eat you alive. I have been there with hurts before that turn into bitterness. The only thing, the only person you're hurting when you walk in that is yourself. You are not hurting the other person. Most of the time, they don't even know you're struggling with this but it will eat you alive. It will make you miserable. You will not be able to see joy in things because you are so wrapped up in this bitterness. And I know we all have had times of feeling that way. And I know we all have noticed it in others. And you see someone struggling with this little, to us, it seems like a little petty thing, but to them, it's a big deal. And it's like, they're so wrapped up in this bitterness that they don't even see how petty it is. And if they would just lay it down, there would be so much freedom for their life. 
And I've I've had seasons with that where just feeling like, but you don't understand how important this is to me. You don't understand how much this hurt my feelings. But when we stay wrapped up in that, all we're hurting is ourselves. (laughs) And that's why the Bible says forgive. Forgive, forgive, forgive. Is the forgiveness so that everybody can just, you know, go on with their life and they don't have any punishment? No, the, the forgiveness is for you. And the Bible says that God is our defender. He will, if we give our hurts to him, he is able to to work it all for good. He is able to deal with our enemies. He is able to deal with the people that are hurting us. But if we stay wrapped up in unforgiveness and bitterness, it is going to ruin your life. And I have been there and I can tell you it is poison. It is like drinking poison. And, um, you know, you're upset at someone else, but you're the one that's punishing yourself. And I think unforgiveness goes so much in hand with that pride thing. And it's like, how dare them do this to me? You guys, they killed Jesus. You know, they, Jesus knows how it feels to have, to have bad things happen to him and have people turn on him, to have people betray him. And what did he do? He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. We have to take we have to take every thought captive and we have to do what Jesus did. And when people hurt us, when people mistreat us, when people exclude us, we forgive them. We look inside of ourselves and go, is there anything inside me that's prideful right now? And if someone did something intentionally to hurt us, even so, can we forgive them the way that Jesus forgave those who were killing him, those who were hanging up, hanging him on a cross? None of us have gone through that level of like rejection. None of us. And if Jesus can do that, we can do, we can forgive over little petty stuff (laughs) because the enemy loves to take these little things and he loves to like cause you to think about them a lot, cause you to get really offended easily. And um, that is not the way of Jesus. And so there's definitely going to be times in your life and in my life where you feel excluded because it's not about you. Um, you cannot be at every gathering. You are not going to be in the mind of every single person who's planning things. And most of the time, I would say 99% of the time, it's not an intentional slam against you. Even if it is, you can choose to forgive and go, you know what? It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal at all. And, and, Take that pain and use it to see others who are maybe going through the same thing. Love on them. Show them love. Um, I don't know. It was just very helpful for me because it's something that has bothered me a lot in feeling like I want everything to be fair. I want everybody to be invited. I want nobody to be excluded. (laughs) But that isn't like that isn't life. Like we only have so much space in our homes. And when we invite we can't invite every single person over all the time, you know? And so there's going to be times in life where you feel excluded when you feel left out. What are you going to do with those feelings? Are you going to internalize them? Are you going to get bitter? Are you going to hang on to unforgiveness? Are you going to just be so irritated and prideful? Or can you choose to do what Jesus did and look inside yourself? And Jesus was perfect. He had no sin. We have sin. We have the pride that comes up. Can we look like into like what Jesus was and be a humble servant to others and go, you know what? It's okay. I don't have to be invited to everything. I'm here to serve and I'm here to show love and I'm here to give to others. It's not about me. And I think when we can do that, man, what a testimony that we can be to others. It's such a powerful testimony when we can rise above, we can choose love instead of hate, we can choose forgiveness instead of anger, bitterness, unforgiveness. That is such a thing. And like, God will reward you. Great is your reward in heaven when you can choose those things. So I don't know if that was helpful for anybody else, but it's been very encouraging to me to think about it that way. Let's say a prayer and let's finish out this video today. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you so much that we can use something like YouTube to all come together and to talk about you, God. I just pray blessings on every single one of my friends that are watching this, God. 
I just pray for the person who feels left out, who feels like they're unseen, God, who feel who feel like that they don't maybe matter to people or that people don't think of them. Help them to see that you see them and everything they're going through, you see them. And God, I just pray that they're able to put any sort of prideful feelings down and they're able to walk in humility just like Jesus did. I pray blessings on every single one of them. God, wrap your arms around them, show them how much you love them. And it's in Jesus' name I pray all these things. Amen. And that is the biggest thing I want to end this video with. No matter if you feel uninvited, unseen, and unloved, God sees you. And He will never exclude you. And He is always with you. And so nobody else matters, right? Like the feelings of who invited me and who God sees you. He invites you. He wants to be your friend. And that is an amazing thing to think about. The God of all universe, the God that made everything and everyone sees you. And he knew that the world needed you. And he has a specific purpose for you. So don't get wrapped up in the hurts of this world. Don't fall for the trap of the enemy of exclusion and unforgiveness and bitterness because God has things he wants you to do. So just stay close to him and let everything else go. I love you all so much. Thank you all for being here today. Share this with a friend if you would like. It really does help the YouTube algorithm for me to get this video to more people. Definitely give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and we will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.